Hey, hi, um, do you sell any birthday gifts? Anything can be a gift. We do have a gift section though, if there's any help. It is! Thank you so much. Where is it though? Thank you. Uh, ooh. Oh, this is perfect! It's 11.30 already, I'm gonna miss the bus! Wait! Oh, God damn it. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, um, I almost forgot. Here, thank you. Dick! Dick, it's great to see you. How have you been? You know, I heard you had a basketball game recently. How did it go? I'm good. The basketball went great, but getting rusty. I've been playing less and less since work's been holding me up. Oh, speaking of work, you find a job you like doing yet? You see, I'd love to say yes, but uh, I'm not really good at any type of work. That's not true, it doesn't find anything you like doing it. Well, playing basketball with me, I know the pay isn't much, but hey, you still enjoy it. <sighs> well, if you think you're rusty, you should see me on the court. We should practice in the rec center later. Me, you and Finn. It'd be fun. Yeah, I mean, sure. It, it wouldn't hurt to have some fun. That's the spirit. Let's get a move on before we're late. Yeah, alright. You're not just rusty. You're also unfit. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Let's go inside so I can sit down for a bit. Yeah, alright. <sighs> Hey, I thought you guys wouldn't make it. Come in. Let's do what you do at a party. Oh, 
Great party, man. I love the games and the music, man. Oh, come on. It was just a regular party. Oh, yeah. I just remembered. Me and Deck were going to ask you if you want to play basketball with us later. You know, for old time's sake. Oh, I, I nearly forgot about that. The three of us could head over to the rec center and play for an hour or so. Could be hella fun. Oh, yeah. The memories. We used to sneak out when it got late just to play basketball. Yeah, Finn. So, you down? How could I say no? Come on, let's go to the rec center before it closes. Anyone want to race there? I'll throw in a thousand tokens. Yeah, alright. I mean, I'll lose, but... I'm out of shape. Alright, line up beside me. Three, two, one, go! Good, good job. That was more, that was more tiring than I thought. <sighs> Good job. <sighs> you can't be that bad. Oh, well, you best believe it, but I can feel my lungs failing on me. <laughs> There's no poison out here. Let's go inside for a bit. I know. Looks different, right? Say that again. Has it really been that long since we've been here? It doesn't feel like it, but I guess so. Hey, yo, Finn! You alright? Careful, man. Oh, my bad. I forgot to call your name out before I threw the ball. It's fine. I'm good now. Let's go play some basketball. Damn, you still got it. I forgot how much fun this is. Alright, Bailey, you're up. Let me show you how a real man does it. There. I've never noticed it before, it must be new. It's a magic door? What do you say? The, the magic door, it's, it's, it's named right there. Ooh, be careful. It's just a door, what can it possibly do? Guys, the door just opened a little bit. What? Be careful. Guys, a little help please, the door's pulling me in!
Oh. Uh, yeah, Deck, he wasn't lying. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't want to die by a door. This isn't how I want to go. I just wanted to play some basketball, man. I just want to go home. What? Makes no sense. Uh, excuse me? Ed, sorry to disturb. Do you do you know where I am? You're in Crazy It's a pretty small place and there's not much to do here though. Oh, alright. Uh, one more thing. I haven't seen like two people, you know, walk by. One has purple highlights in his hair. No, we haven't seen anyone come through in the last 30 minutes or so. Alright, thanks anyway. <sighs> Damn, I hope they're alright. WHERE THE FUCK AM I?! AM I DEAD?! Pervert! That really hurts. <clears throat> Bailey, do, do not, just don't panic right now. I know there's a lot of reasons to, but all, all you can really remember is that you fell out one of those trams and you landed in the water and you have no clue where you are. Hold on. Oh yeah. I might as well just go back to the tram, see if there's anything still there. <sighs> Come on, any time now. Nothing here. <sighs> I hope the others are alright. There has to be some sort of reason that I'm here. Let me go find out. My pants. Hey! I'll pay you back, I promise. Coincidence. Uh, excuse me. Well, before you go waddling down the street, take this sponge and help me get scrub in this window. You understand? Yes, sir. My name's not Sir, by the way. Her name's Wes. And, uh, what would your name be? Uh, Finn S Wes... Finn. <laughs> oh, like a shark's fin. It's got to be a pretty good name there. <clears throat> now, uh, what were you saying yeah. before I interrupted you? I just wanted to ask if I'm in heaven or not. Heaven? Um, well, last time I checked, it wasn't heaven. This here be Fun Bear City, most well known and loved for its main establishment, Fuzzy Relations. With our mascot and main star of the show, Fuzzy Funbear. It's the best thing our city has ever come up with, actually. Right. So I'm not dead. 
Uh, unless you wanna be. I got you. You know what, Dad? You're perfectly fine. Oh, come on. Got a lot to show you. The diner's just down there. You ready to go? Yeah? Come on. Follow me. You'll be perfectly okay. fine. Nothing to worry about. <sighs> what is that? What is that? Where is it? Is it this? This gate? It is. Hello. What? Is, is this a way out? It better be. This isn't right, this, this isn't the rec center. Hey, hi, sorry. Uh, do you know how I can get out of here? You see, I came through this weird looking door, a rectangular kind of thing, and I ended up in this place called Greaser Street. Weird place, I don't know, I don't know, foreign country. Uh, so uh, now I'm here in prison. I'm not meant to be in prison though. You know, I'm just trying to get back home. Do you mind if I go? I don't know, man. The orange suit says otherwise. You should be a writer. Gonna make things up. I swear I'm not lying. Sure, sure. Anyways, go back to your cell. We're doing searches for a reason. Okay. Sorry. Hey, you alright? I'm fine. Just need some time alone for a bit. This story. How is anyone supposed to believe that? Like, I'm trying my best to, but... This is reality, not some game. It's true, but very hard to believe. Guess I'll just stay a prisoner for now. Well, it's not the worst. These people here are surprisingly nice, considering they've committed crimes, of course. Yeah, alright. Thanks for the talk. Benny. And it's no problem. Always here to lend an ear. Or two. Now oh, come on, should be time for lunch soon. All right, all right, time for lunch. Hurry up and get some. You never know. <laughs> the sea may be holding the answer. Whoa, 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 no, 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 This isn't right. School? What school is this? Exotic High. Re weirdo. This can't be happening. Why is it me? I will never get home. Wh why me? <laughs> hey, are you alright? You sound like you're going to do some stuff. What's up? It's... It's alright. Um, I'm sorry for disturbing you. It can't be fine. You didn't even know the name of the school a few minutes ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you heard that? Um, yeah, it, it's a long story. Well then, I guess we'll sit here and listen. Hey, anything to skip class. Which you should never do. Me? But you. You. Sure, um, anyways, are you ready to hear for what sounds like an unbelievable story? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. So what's your thoughts on the place, lad? It's pretty good. Thanks for bringing me uh, here. 
Ah, no problem, no problem at all. I appreciate your feedback. Now, um, what were you saying? Uh, you magically appeared through some door in a port potty, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Ooh. However, the door that pulled me in in the first place was made out of wood and was like rectangular. Yeah. I'm like, mm. well, your square doors here. I think I have a vivid idea on what you're going on about, lad. There's a door that's quite resembled to the one you're on about, near an abandoned factory down the outskirts. Um... You... Wanna go down there... Tell me more? There's not much more to say, but, uh... Take me there, please. Sure thing! Yeah. Let's get out there before it gets dark. Okay. Seatbelt? <laughs> ah! What's a seatbelt? What? <laughs> are we getting close? Oh, you bet we are. We're almost here now. Alright, let's get them. You got any music in here? Is that not a thing? No, it's really forbidden against it. I'm kidding, of course we have music. Here, I'll get some on the radio for you. Um... Yeah. Oh. oh! Oh! Oh, this is a good one, this! We are here. Oh, shit. I take it we can't get through the front door. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, give your old man a favor and help us with this handle, would you? It's a push door. What? Oh. I knew how to push it, I was just testing it, alright? Sure. There she is. I'm staying here, lad. Just fun venturing with you. But I gotta say, this city is me home. I understand. I had a lot of fun with you, though. Thanks for helping me, Wes. Wait, 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 wait! Forgot to hand you this. Should serve you well on your travels. Thank you. Take care, Wes. You too, old chap. That catch. This brings back memories. How come? You play basketball? Yeah, I, I play for a team actually. Well, I, I was playing basketball with my two other friends and then, well, ended up here. Huh, that's nice. It's gonna be dark soon, so come on back in your cells. No funny business. So Deck, we're taking you one out? Yeah, but no idea where to go. Well, you won't unless you get out of here. That's true. How do you even get out? Okay. Around midday, the cops aren't as aware and focused on inmates because, I mean, who tries to escape during the day? We do. So tomorrow evening, I want you to meet me here. Do not mention this to the other inmates. We have them known. Uh, okay. Sure, sure thing.
and I'm sitting in a stool next to you. Probably think I'm crazy, right? Yeah, but in a good way. I hope that's a cool villain in your story. I don't, but anyways, on a side note, have you seen anything weird around here lately? Besides from someone coming in dressed as a cat girl, I'm afraid not, sorry. It's fine. I mean, I guess I'll just start searching anyways. Oh, uh, I never introduced myself. Name's Jam. Thanks for the help. It's no problem. I'll see you around. Never thought I'd be in school again. Konnichiwa, class. Today we're going to be learning about the bite of 87. What? What is the bite of 87, you may ask? The bite of 87 is... The bite of 87, it happened by a creation of Henry Millers, who is an associate of William Afton in the location Fred Bear's Family Diner. Fred Bear's Family Diner is the first establishment of a log... Maybe. Just maybe. Wish I had trampolines like that at home. Hmm. Possibly. Oh, that really hurt. Nothing? Damn it! Damn it! Huh? Finally! Yes! Found it! Found the way out! Wait, wait, wait. No. What is this place called anyway? Back? Okay. Uh, hello. Hi. Hi, sir. Uh, cabin. Uh, anyway, uh, I just teleported here by entering a weird door. That uh, ring a bell. We have doors, but not like sentient doors. Okay, so not everywhere has one of them doors. Has anything weird happened lately? Apart from Rectuber Rally, no. Rectuber Rally? No, not like an event. Something out of the out of the blue. Well, it was pretty out of the blue, but still, no, nothing. Damn. Uh, can I come in? It's getting cold. Sure. Thank you. What a view. Gets lonely. I think I'd like it. Yeah, it's beautiful because it's just you and your thoughts. Anyway, I, I have no idea how to help you. That's fine. Thanks. Oh, I have to leave. Thanks, Mr. Stotting. Thank miss. Thanks for letting me in. Oh, you can stay a bit longer, just don't rob anything. Not that there's anything of value anyway. See ya! Uh, thanks. See ya!
you lift the oven up. This is not a door. Right, get on the treadmill beside me and do not look at me. Just speak like a board. <clears throat> okay, here's the plan. In five minutes, the guards will rotate positions. We will climb that pipe to your right. It's not slippy and has good grip, so it will be fine. Once up, we will wait for the guard at this post to look the opposite way while we get up and hide at the pillar. Once they begin their rotation again, we will crawl at the inner wall there, close to the guard, but not too close, of course. When close enough to the end, there's a ladder which we will climb down as quickly as we can because we will most likely be seen and heard going down. So we will run and try not to die. Yes, we might die in the process. Then there's a very convenient hole in the wall which will run through and be free, but on the then make our way up to the tunnel to your hopeful future. Got all that? Yeah. Good. Now to the pipe. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Oh, God, we have two prisoners attempting to escape. This is not what I expected to do today. Need any help? I told you, you get what you deserve! I told you this was coming to you! I told you! Uh, get out of here! Get out of town! Oh my god! This'll do. Take this! Uh oh. Get to the tunnel! You sure? Yes! Now go! Thank you! Dak! Dak! Oh, Dak! I miss you so much, I've been all alone and scared! Sorry, do I... do I know you? <laughs> good... good joke. It's me, Bailey, remember? Don't tell me the door gave you dementia. I really don't know you. I've never known a Bailey before. Also, what door? You, you really don't know me? Um, I'm afraid not. I'm, I'm very sorry. Bailey, is it okay if I sit beside you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, please do. You wanna... Tell me what happened. I mean, if I remind you of your friend, then I might be able to help. Well, you see, I was with two friends, um, obviously, Beck and Finn, um, and, well, we playing basketball, and then, next thing you know, we got sucked into this ominous door, and, well, I've just been trying to find my way back to them, you know? That is very strange. You can explore this whole place if you want to, I mean, like, I'll help you. I mean, yeah, is it okay if we stay here for a bit? 
Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll I'll go get us some tea. Thanks, Nick. No problem. I'll be back in a few. And I got the tea. Bailey, what are you doing? Look at me. I found the way out. Well, it was nice seeing you. Well, actually, is it okay if I stay a bit longer? Yeah, of course it is. Come on and get your tea. Well, I think it's time for me to get going. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Dak. It's no problem. I wish you luck, Bailey. <laughs> Thank you, Dak. A ladder. Okay. Hmm. If only I had a ladder. A ladder. I hope the way out of here is down here, not up there. Not again. <laughs> you can't fit in here. Oh, sh
got subtitles? I also sound amazing. This is not like the other places. Guess it's time to explore. A school? Seemingly a high school. There's Japanese writing on the posters. I, I don't know Japanese. Oh god, someone's approaching. K Konnichiwa? Hi! Oh, you speak English? My bad. Everyone here speaks English. Anyway, are you new here? I haven't seen you around before. I guess you could say that. Oh, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Ellie. I'm a senior here. What about you? I'm Deck and... Um, I exist? It's nice to meet you. Sorry for the short talk. I gotta go to my club. Are you in the club? Nope. What club are you in? I'm in the drama club. You should visit us sometime. We're out to get to the hall to the right. No thanks. I'm just here temporarily. Wait. No, I didn't say that. Great. I'll see you around. I can't even speak my mind here. I'm overpowered by subtitles. Right, time to continue my search. Oh god, can't even go where I want. I feel like I'm being controlled. Like a video game. Dick! So glad you decided to come! Sorry, I was looking for the bathroom? We have one here! It's fine. I don't need it anymore. Let me introduce you to the fellow club members. Sure. First of all, we have the very talented Cookie. Hello, who is this sweet looking prince? Hey, the name's Deck. I'm just checking out some of the clubs. Yeah. Well, you're always welcome here, darling. Thank you, madam. Ooh, and you have good manners. You seem like a keeper. Actually, I prefer defense, but alright. Let's introduce our final member, the lovely Raven! Uh, hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Raven. It is also nice to meet you. Uh, I'm glad you think so. There we have it, Dad. You've met everyone. I guess so. Am I free to leave? Oh, you're not staying? But, uh... I brought in some stuff I baked, and there's more than enough for just the three of us. Well, man, you, you should stay for a bit longer. What will I find with it did? You want to let those faces down? Okay, okay, I'll stay for another little bit. Huh, <laughs> I knew you'd stay, darling. Oh, well, I'm good, glad you're staying. Um, how'd you like the muffins? They're tasty, thanks. So, Dick, what do you think of the club? I like it, nice and cozy. Um, school's closing in five minutes, we better get going. Agreed! Uh, Dick, Dick, um, take this. Bang? Say it when you can. Sure. See ya. Bye. Meet me at the front of school tomorrow morning. Bit creepy. But yeah, sure. Wait, what? What time zone are we in? Glad you can meet me here. So, um, I... I just wanted to tell you that, um, um, I, you mm, I, I like you. I've known you for not even a day. Really? I did not say that. I'm a free man. Hey! Um, I'll see you in the club. Yeah, sure. Did I just speedrun school? What's going on? Free entertainment. 
he said he likes me. But you were the shy and awkward one. Oh, God. Doc, did you say you were like a raven? Without my consent, yes. See? But, uh, alright. You guys really like this guy, huh? Don't say that in front of him. I want a piece of him too, then. Am I Ryan Reynolds? I'm so confused. Dad, 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 what Dad, Dad, going Dad, on? Dad, 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 Oh, Dick. It's good to see us still trying to get home. Who is this from? You're probably wondering who's this from, but that's not important. Besides, you've already seen me, whether you remember or not. No way. Am I being selected on where I'm heading next by this guy? You've probably been thinking of your friends, and I can assure you they are fine. That's all I can say for now. If it's a gift, here's your way out. Thanks, you sicko. <sighs> Where am I? What? <sighs> what is this place? Where am I? Am I in someone's basement? No. Well, that answers it. Oh. What is that? Ooh. Shiny button. Uh, I mean, clicking it could be the end of me, but it's shiny. Oh no. <gasps> what is that? <sighs> oh. This is where death happens, but at the same time, there could be more of those button things up here. <sighs> Whoa, what is this place? <gasps> it's, it's a door! I can try and escape! <laughs> oh! Oh! Why did I think that was a good idea? <sighs> Suck it up, come on. Stay away! Why are you doing this? Yes! I swear I could have pressed it.
Where is, where is that noise coming from? That is high. What brings you here? Do you seek the power of the Sith? No, no, not at all actually. So why do you disturb this place, if not for the power? I have no idea. Are you mocking me? Do you have any idea what I can do to you? Listen, I don't mean no harm. I'm not trying to mock you, I'm just here, that's all I know. It does not matter why you're here. I cannot let you leave the knowledge of this place's existence. Why do you use that leftover lightsaber from my last kill? It might make your death a bit more, I don't know, exciting. Sorry. Words cannot help you now. <laughs> so bright. Zach? Is that a Jedi? Excuse me sir, you wouldn't mind moving family reunion? Kidding me. I was going to let you walk free, but I was starting to have fun. I'm afraid death is inevitable in your future. You really like your long walks and speeches, huh? Who do you think you are? Nobody will miss you when you're gone. Uh huh.
Said, do you? Gladly. <laughs> what are you, scared Jedi? Wait, how do I know you're the deck I know? What? Oh, okay, um, just tell me something only the real deck will know. Um, I'm very good at basketball and I've been playing for a couple of years now. Okay, okay. Um, Finn, what about you? Uh, I had a fire birthday party. It was a fire birthday party. <laughs> oh, good. It is you guys! You know, I think I'm gonna quit basketball. Can we just please get away out of here? Uh, yeah. Nice health bars, guys. Thanks. Oh, that must be the way out. That big ship. I'll go check it out. Guys, I think it's clear. Uh -oh. Finn. Hey, hey, hi, hey. Oh, fuck, Jesus Christ. Just, just shut up. Just, there's something in my back pocket. Take it and don't lose it. Finn? 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 Oh, how unfortunate. We will kill that purple prick, I swear! Bailey, come on. But come on, we've no time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bailey, that that wasn't a dream, was it? Not coming back now, or just ever. Do you remember that time we were all playing basketball and these three seniors? They all they challenged us. We were all scared, but Finn wasn't. He was ready for a fight. 
Yeah, those were the good times. I remember because of him we won. I'm glad of all the memories we all share. You know, we've had some good times. I'll I'll cherish those memories now forever. Same here. He was just like an older brother to me. Remember when me, you, Finn, and all the other lads, we all stayed up all night at your place? Yeah, I remember that. That was fun. <sighs> We will kill that purple prick. Us. No one else. Yes. Yes, we will. By the way, Deck. Yeah? I wouldn't want to be friends with any other Deck than you. Don't say that. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. Zach, I hate to be Captain Obvious, but I think these two obviously place bikes are our way out. I mean, it makes it easier on us. <gasps> hey, hey, the name's Royce. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, nothing. We're, we're just tourists. Say, aren't you related to Noah Deck? You look awful familiar to him. There's another Deck here too? You too? Wow, you're identical to Noah Bailey. Let me guess, there's the Noah Finn? Noah Finn? Uh, okay, um, thanks twice. Yeah, but we've really gotta go. See you guys! There's a noir version of us? I mean, I guess so. And Finn. Do we try to find him? Well, we might as well. You want to join the Mafia? Yes, sir. Not a chance. Now get out of my office, you screeny. But... Boss, I hope you don't mind me coming in, but I may need you to take a quick gander at this. It appears there are, um, just some cheaply frauds of us. You know, no wonder what they're probably doing right now. This is strange. They only have two of us instead of three of us. I wonder where their fin is. Is someone looking over them? Yes, sir. You've got O being a nice peeping Tom. Alright. Good work as always. Thank you, sir. I'll go keep an eye out in the front. If you see Noir Finn, send him up to me. I make sure I will, just for you. Work has been quiet as of lately. Not many friendly faces, but... I guess you never see much in the Mafia. What can I do for you, boss? There's been sightings of imposters of me and Bailey. Haven't seen one for you yet. I want you to get out there and start looking. Alright, boss, I'll get looking. Same shit, different day. That's what my father would always tell me when he wasn't lighting up the cigar. Mama would always tell him off for it, but... He wouldn't care. He was the head of the Mafia. Why would he care? Now that I'm in that role, I can't help but not care about others' feelings and emotions. I'm just trying to aspire to be a better version of my father. You interrupted my narration. This better be important. Sorry sir, I didn't mean to barge in, but um... You see, I have Owen on the phone, and uh, he just saw the other two Fords walk into the gun shop just down the road. Give him here. Oh, you there? I'm here, boss. I got eyes on the two in the building, looking at him through my binoculars now. Alright, thanks, uh. If anything happens, inform me. You got it, boss. Why are we buying a gun again? In case we run into that purple prick, 
you know, he's usually in every room we go to. We just don't focus on looking for him. Yeah, all right. Hey, what can I do for you guys today? Hi, just wondering what pistol, in your opinion, is the easiest to use? My pick would have to be the Colt Python. It's easy to use, not too heavy, not too light, and it does the job just right. And how much would it be? That would be 650 tokens. Um, is there any chance we could actually get that for free? For free? I'm afraid not. But it's me and Noir deck, <clears throat> so I shall get it for free. Oh, you're in a new look. You and Noir Bailey look good. I like it. Going undercover looks good on you. You want one too, Noir Bailey? Yep. Yeah, I do. Thanks from both of us. See you around. Take care, you two. Two cold pythons, all right. <whistles> they left the shop and they're uh, heading your way now. Thanks, all. I'll send someone down now. You're free to leave and go home or whatever. Will do. Thanks, boss. Looks like it. Relax, he could be armed, he's not from our universe. Okay. So what's the plan here, boys? I'm sorry? Identity theft is a real crime, you know. We're not committing identity theft there. Oh yeah? We'll tell that to the boss. What? <laughs> so who are you working for? I, I promise you, we're, we're working for no one. Real original. These two were heading your way, boss, and they were armed. Do you really think you could kill me? I'm the Mafia King for your information. You should already know this. Killing you would be as easy as beating Golden Trophy. I don't care who you are. I just want to get home. I like your attitude. What's this about getting home? So... I'm gonna try to summarize what's been happening today. Got sucked into this door, magic door, I don't know if that's a familiar term to you. Uh, you know, we went wacky adventures, we all got split up and we're finally, you know, two of us back together. Our Finn is no longer with us, so it's really been a devastating story and I just want to get home and there's this big, I don't know, we call him a purple prick because, I don't know, that's what he is. Uh, he was the one that killed our friend. We're trying to find him to kill him because we think that's how we could get home. Makes no sense. But, I don't know. This purple prick, is he here? That's why we bought guns, to hunt for him. Okay, I'll believe your story for now. But if you're lying, you'll join your fin. Okay, thank you. Okay, you two can head outside, your guns are at the door. I'll go and tell people not to shoot at you guys or harm you in any way and we'll go and help with this hunt of yours. Now get out of my office. Thanks. Hey, Noir Bailey, tell the others no harm the clones. I agreed to help them search for this purple prick. I don't know if it's inhuman or not, but all I know is it's purple, and in a way, controlling the clones on their location. Are you sure, sir? Yes, I'm sure. If they're lying, I'll kill them. Blah, blah, blah. Mafia shit.
Um, okay, sir. Um, will do right away. So you guys are the doppelgangers? You do look a lot alike, though. Yep, we've been told. You know, I did yoga with the boss before. It was really fun. Thank you for that amazing information. Sorry for interrupting, but I gotta go kill some goblins and beat the Goblin King. Bye. 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 Some people are really in a world of their own. Anyway, let's get a move on. Did you hear that? Yeah, I I think we should get going, because I think this could be our only hope. You guys next. But I was having fun with you guys. Fun? Fun? You can't count the lives of innocent people fun. So many lives lost. Families torn apart from different universes. Just for your satisfaction. What about assuring me that my friends are fine? Did you think of that when dropping my childhood friend's body to the ground? <sighs> me and Bailey will never be fine again. We've been traumatized by your actions for too long. I don't care about the tears shed, I enjoy them. I enjoy the thoughts of others suffering, and most importantly, I enjoy the feeling of dropping your friend's corpse to the ground. Uh. <laughs> Thoughts are still intact. Make me enjoy this, won't you? His body can deflect bullets, but when you shot his eye, it really blinded him, as if shooting bulletproof glass. Oh, just, just, does that mean the bucket just needs to come off? Exactly. I have no idea how yet, but we just need to stall for time. Alright, I can do that. No time to be shown secrets. In your final moments. Oh, shut up, you whining trash bag. Ah, my feelings. Oh, no. Um, maybe we get a moment to say our final goodbyes. Ah, so you're accepting it. Alright, go ahead. Right, don't worry, I can store it, okay? Only if you are able to climb up that pole, right? Then, if you are to get behind him, pull up that bucket as much as you can, and I can take a shot at him. Okay, be careful. You too. Ready to die? I mean, nah, not quite. Can I just, like, think about my life for a few minutes? What? No! So how's your life seeming you take, you know, so many away? Satisfying. It's like... Okay, imagine you get rewarded. Every kill I pursue feels like a new reward. Um, okay then. So, uh... If you don't mind me asking this, how did you JUMP into this style of life? A very long time ago. Take the shot! <laughs> Um, Deck, we've run into a bit of an issue. What? I have no ammo. Uh-oh. Quite a smart plan. Filled me with more anger. Let's party. Oh, that's no good.
How dare you fight back? Do you even know who I am? No! No, I don't! I am the Forbidden One, the one they try to keep in a lab, but I broke out. All I want is to murder those who are happy. I want suffering. Thanks for the insight, clown. All that poor destruction. Sir, it's with deck. Hey, he's with Deck and he has nothing to fight with. Damn it. Okay, we gotta go put the city on lockdown. Stop running and accept your fate. Not to you, I'm alright, thanks. Move, man, move. Pull up the bucket and put a bullet through his skull. I think he's dead. Good work, man. I hope you two can finally go home. Agreed. Deck, we have one more problem. How do we actually get home? That's a very good question. Hey, Noir Finn. Do you think really hard of getting us home and touch the ground for me real quick? Um, sure. This makes no sense. Yes, thank you. We better be leaving. We're gonna miss yoga. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Good. Yes, we're home. <sighs> yeah, we are. We'd be glad we're here. But he's not, Deck. We were so blind and we didn't kill that purple prick earlier. Well, the important thing is, he's gone and he's not coming back. There's no way he can come back. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. What now? I guess we go our separate ways. I'll, I'll give you a call tomorrow. Yeah, all right. It's been a year, but I still wake up with the thoughts of him every day. My childhood friend, take him before my eyes. I miss him every day. I guess in a way that's life. We have to lose what we love to understand how deep love can be, and how deep it should be. Everyone wants to love what they do, as you look back at it in years and miss those times. We should all be grateful for this life we have and we should share with our friends and family who deserve love like everyone else. Life is short, says some, but that's why we should be making the most of it. Get out there and try new things. 
see lots of places and make lots of friends. One day we'll all have nothing left and when that day arrives we should be smiling about the memories we keep and cherish. No matter what happens, life moves on and nothing can stop that. Trying to lunge yourself forward and reach for the stars. Boss, this hurts. Don't worry, you won't feel it after a week. <clears throat> Boss, not to sound weird or anything. How come we can do this weekly? Sure thing. I think I'd enjoy that, honestly. Tully ho!